Hi guys, so today, um, hopefully you saw the uh, Daiso Japan haul recently because that place is so cute. Look at this. I just, I love this. Adorable. Anyway, um, they have a really cool with stuff. It's a little expensive for Daiso, five bucks, you know, for their things, two dollars for stickers, but uh, make sure to check out that haul if you're interested. Um, today what I wanted to talk about was uh, craft magazines, and so I just picked up a few. I forgot to show them to you from the last month that I went to, you know. Barnes and Noble or whatever and then I went yesterday but real quick too in the meantime I had also gotten this from AliExpress and I just wanted to show you um it just felt and I've been making like these little guys I still <laughs> I keep telling you guys I show this so many times I'm like I have to put eyes on them um I did order some eyes there too but I haven't got them on there but look how tiny this is and I hand stitched this because he's so tiny and it worked up really fast he's adorable um but that felt is basically this kind of felt that I had first gotten from AliExpress, but this one's a lot thinner. That's what I wanted. I want it to be thin and a little more malleable. And this company always sends along a free little, um, like a little sewing kit. It has some needles and like buttons and some uh, thread, but super cheap. So if you see these on AliExpress, just know that this is kind of what they look like. I do have a different set right here. Sorry, there's a bunch of stuff on it that I had gotten, I don't know, months ago. Um, but as you can see, I don't know if this is just thicker. This is uh, 54 pieces, it says, six by six, basically. And I think this is the same. This is either 50 something or 60 some pieces, but look how much thinner this is compared to this. This is some stiff stuff. It's not super stiff, but it's pretty stiff. So just want to show it to you. So when you're looking on there, you kind of have an idea of what they're offering and what it might look like when you get it. And it was tied up with a little ribbon and, and some plastic too. So anyway, I was just showing that because I did have another few things that came in while I was thinking about making this video. So um, so yeah, last month I had gone by um, Barnes & Noble. I picked up these magazines. Now these run from usually $15 to $20. Some are $25 and those are crazy. I've never bought one um, that goes that high. But what it is is uh, they're just magazines from like the UK and um, they always come with a little treat, a little something fun. And I know some gals here said that like in Canada they only get the magazine like it doesn't come with the fun stuff or they take it out or whatever. I don't know how um, I guess each country does what they do, you know, and uh, that type of thing. But um, so this one came with um, looks like card bases or just some. Um, yeah, because these are like envelopes. I'm not sure. I can read about it, but either way. And it has um, two... Uh... I just woke up, guys, and I can't even think of the word for this. Embossing folders, but they're like the uh, edge kind. So this one has little flowers. This one has like feathers. And then it has this cute little set. And what I thought was cute, I did like the Mother's Day looking stuff over here, but it has little dinosaurs. And I just thought that was really a cute uh, thing. And then it comes with papers now... Again, maybe I did show these to you guys, but I, I feel like I didn't. I'm not the best at, like, um, cutting things out or, like, you know, I have no patience for it. So some of these things have a white back because you're going to cut it. And some are, well, these are all have a, a white back. But, because um, I was going to say, sometimes they double-side the print. So you would start with this, and then you're going to cut this little guy out and put that guy on top of that guy. And then just keep going. And then this one goes on top of this one, you know. So it's a, like a, I guess they call that decoupage too, but, um... You don't stick it down. You just uh, layer it, right? So it has some space between the layers. And then, of course, it comes with a book that tells you about that. So I don't really get it for the papers because, like I said, I don't really use them. So what today's point of this video is I was going to show you some of these. And then I'm going to try the stuff because I never... I used to be like, oh, I love this. I put it away. Um, sometimes I just keep the goodies that it comes with and I throw away the magazine because, you know. So here it's showing you what you're supposed to be doing with those. Uh, pieces, but you know the paper is not the thickest paper in the world, so I'm like, how's that really gonna stay layered? It's actually kind of magazine paper feeling, like almost like gift wrap. So anyway, so there's that. Maybe that's one of the ones I'll try, even though I don't know if I have the patience for it. So this one they still have right now. When I went yesterday, this is the same one they have, but I know Crafters Companion came out with their new Crafters Inspiration uh, number 23. And 23 is pretty cool because it has the mandala dies. And I have... Did I put them away? I had bought their sets off of um, HSN, 
They had two mandala sets where it's a stamp and then it has a die that cuts out basically each layer from the smallest layer to like the largest one. So they're gonna add something like that. I think it has four or five dies with a smaller stamp. And then it has like a, a dream catcher embossing folder. And then, you know, some other stuff, whatever else it comes with, uh, stamps and things. But, um, so this one has two um, dies a uh, stamp set that has the dragonflies and the little hummingbird and you guys know I was like all about dragonflies and I have a Havilius birthday embossing folder and then the paper craft like what you see here it's a CD I've never taken one of these CDs and used it <laughs> you know so like I haven't even opened this and I bought this last month let me see if I can get this open for you guys so this one comes in this big box um HSN was selling these but HSN was selling them in a weird way I thought you were going to get the new one every time but they were like nine months behind and you got one every three months so it wasn't even <laughs> they do sell it quarterly this magazine does come out quarterly but the way they had it, they were way behind the the quarter <laughs> so all that glitters is what's in here and um oh, okay this is the education part of it so like you're gonna learn a bunch of different techniques and stuff like that so they always have a technique video and then it has to print things out so i guess if you want to you know just <laughs> print off a bunch of stuff um, that's up to you. I've never really been a fan of that and I don't know, it's just the, you know, the printer doesn't to me do as good a job But I guess if you just do like a little topper or something cute, why not? You know, I, I wouldn't do like a whole page But they do do that if you've seen some of their videos They show you like oh they printed out whatever and she'll have it there and they'll use it for making like their treat boxes and stuff This is a good size um, Geometric roses uh, embossing folder. I believe it's probably five inch square Super cute and then the die is little, so I would say you can cut that out of a corner of like a card or something. And then it has with love little words. And the stamp set. They're good size stamps. And then of course it has the magazine. And they do have some fun things in these magazines. Like they do have some nice ideas. So that, you know, they always say, oh, the value's in the magazine. Well, I don't know. But, you know, they're showing you how to use all the stuff in there. They're just coming with so it's it's a good little magazine and it's not just based on the stuff that's in here they go off and start you know showing you other things but this time like even this one I have the um, the die that makes this little box and they're showing how to decorate it with some other stuff so this is I mean they have cute ideas they do so there's that and this one probably has the best value of any of these magazines this one's also $19.99 but it comes with way more quality stuff you know you're basically paying for the stuff in my opinion, but anyway, they like to say, oh, you, you know, you're getting such a value because the CD-ROM, you know, <laughs> or that education is priceless. Like, okay. Um, okay, this one is, <laughs> this is funny, the, the, the back of this is basically just an ad, so I don't even know, paper crafter plus extra unicorn metal die. So it has a unicorn die, which is adorable, and then it has this whole huge stamp set. Again, I tell you guys, you can find these stamp sets, probably even that die on AliExpress, like, I feel like that's what these things are made for. <laughs> They're made in China, super cheap, so that they can put in this magazine for free, supposedly, even though the magazine is super expensive. So let me open this up. Let's see what we got in this one. Um, it's actually, yeah, Paper Crafter, and so you weren't even able to see, like, what the magazine is about. It's just like, do you want this stuff? Okay, then you better pay for it. Um, this one was $16.99, it says, so it's on the lower side of what I normally pay. Some cute ideas. They do a lot of paper piecing, I feel like, in the UK and stuff. Look how cute that is to make, like, a round card. That's adorable. Pretty cool. And I love, like, Magnolia, little, the tilde. They have such cute ideas. Okay, so this one has some papers in there and eh, some other ideas. And then it has, um, again, the stamp set and the uniform. This one was super cute. Um, except for I noticed, I'm like, you got the, well, anyway, it has embossing folder with 19 stamp design. So basically this little folder, I think I might have shown you guys this stuff. I don't know why I feel like I remember talking about this. But anyway, you have the little girl and then you have those stamps that go within that, um, heart and then the little extras. I feel like I did talk about this one. So this is Paper Craft Magazine. And then this one is card making and paper craft and it comes with um, some little fairies type of uh, stamps. And then it comes with 10 magical papers it says. And these again are layering 
papers. And I just thought these were really pretty. Actually, they look sturdier. I can feel that they feel sturdier than like that dinosaur layering. And I can see that they're like um, thicker than a cardstock. You know when they have those little, just like a topper that you buy, you know, just a little bit thicker. There's that. And then these are the new ones, just in case I already showed you guys this. I just picked these up yesterday. Oh, at Michael's, my Michael's is right, well, one of the Michael's that's near my house is right next to uh, Barnes Noble, and I got this Endless Loom from Beadsmith, I believe. Yeah. Um, I hadn't seen this before, and it was 34 bucks, but I got the coupon, and for some reason they still gave me my military discount on top of the coupon, so I got it for even less than I thought it was going to be, so that was cool. But there's that. And, okay. This was already open. It was the last one there. I'm like, hmm, I don't know, people, but oh well. It's... Crafts Beautiful magazine um, with the bumper kit that came from, um, oh, what's that company? Do Crafts. I love Do Crafts. They're the same people that do gorgeous. Um, they actually manufacture them, I guess, because Centauro is gorgeous, but Do Crafts is the one that makes them, if that makes any sense, I think. Um, so Crafts Beautiful here, and really cute, like China painting, painting stuff for your house. It's very crafty, okay? It's not just cards or scrapbooking, and they're doing lettering. Um, how to make a pretty bouquet. Anyway, a lot of stuff. But it came with the full bloom layering stamp and card kit by Do Crafts. And this one was cute. So it has your layered stamp set. And then it has toppers, or I guess you layer those up because they're nice and thick. This cardstock is super thick. It's really pretty. Several sheets of that. And I believe these are card bases, I guess. These are really big cards because there's two of them, but maybe I would cut that up and use them as papers. So, this is a cute one. I'm assuming... Yeah, stamps, die cut sheets, paper, and two cards. Okay, good. Because I was like, ooh, when I saw this media open, I'm like, maybe it had a die in there, but it didn't, so that's okay. All right, so we have that. I'm going to start stacking these up so I don't have any arrows to put them. This one's pretty cute. Only because, okay, this flower, I was like, do you think I actually will make a flower? It's kind of small. I think we'll try this one out today, too. Um... Because supposedly you cut that out and you make your little rose, but it's not going to look like this. This is a lot of layers. So, I don't even know. That's it. That's a drawing, even. It's not even a picture of it. But it has an embossing folder. It has some stamps that are really adorable. Um, this is Love Card Making. So, they have some ideas back here. And they didn't even use... They only used it one time, supposedly. It's this one. We'll see. Um, the little 3D flower. Everything else was just stamped. So, maybe we'll try that one out. This, I've never seen this one. Creative Stamp and Paper Craft Ideas, a homemaker, it says. Um, this one was 20 bucks. Um, you know, I get my little discount at Barnes & Noble, but on the back it showed some pictures of the stamp sets, and I just figured, okay, well, it would be a small little thing, but when you open it up, I do like the packaging of this one. Um, it had a really nice magazine. It's more like a book, which I always like, because if I'm going to keep it, I like it to be sturdy. Um, it has templates and lots of cute ideas. I already kind of looked through this one. Oh, look at that little guy. And so basically he's using stencils here. Um, just a lot of cute ideas. It has some papers. Like I said, I've never really used the papers in here. And then this is how they're using the bumper pack. They always call it bumper pack, whatever they, they give you here. So this is a big set of really, really cute stamps. I love hummingbirds. My little hummingbirds aren't coming around, so if you guys know anything about hummingbirds, I think it's past the season probably, because every, every day, there was one that just like lived here. So, um, in my sister's house, there was a little nest with two little eggs in it, and she lives in the Bay Area. But like, I haven't seen a hummingbird probably in a week or so, so I think they moved along. But anyway, um, and then this one's all like sentiments, which I thought was really cool. And they're fun things like, uh, you don't look a day over fabulous, you know, uh, the, the it's not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. I always believe in something wonderful is about to happen. Like, just cute things. Make today ridiculously amazing. You know, spread your wings and fly. So it's things that go along back with the, uh, the stamp set. And then this one. <laughs> I was debating this one because I'm like, do I have this already? Do I want pig stamps? I don't know. And I know, I'm telling you, you look this up, you'll see these on AliExpress. But um, this is Make Special Cards. And this is the same one that had that dinosaur stamp set before. And they always have fun things. like. But I always have to remember if I bought it already or not. Because um, this one, I think, comes out monthly. 
but a lot of times they overlap or when I go it's still the same one and I'm like did I already buy that one and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go back and look at my haul videos and I'm like oh yeah there it is yeah I already bought that one <laughs> so that's kind of how I handle that but um so make special cards and you know it has a lot of ideas how to use this stamp set that comes with it's going to talk about back issues um, and then a lot of times they give you a peek at the next one so a lot of times they'll help me keep my eye out for the next one so this is the next issue for June which is not out yet here in the US yet but um, it has like little woodland creatures so peacocks and stuff anyway um, you know cute ideas oh this is interesting they kind of the card but has like a little bit of movement to it and it's showing you here how to actually do that Oh, that's cool. It's with like tabs. You make your own little tabs and you basically pop it in. Hope you can kind of see that. So it's not actually on the card. They added that and then popped it in. So a lot of cute things. There's another one of those half circle cards. They do that a lot, but this one's not a step card. This one's just kind of basic. Cute ideas. Using the stamp sets. And so this is the stamp set. I can see there's card blanks and envelopes, all the little toppers that are a nice thickness. This is by Jennifer Ellery, it says, and then a lot of papers I can feel in here. Let me open this up, just in case you happen to see it at the store and you are interested in it. Sorry about that glare. And then what I'm gonna do is get something together and we're gonna try them out, because like I said, I've never actually used any of the things that I get from these kits. I just think they're cute and I keep them, but oh my gosh, they're still wrapped in more paper. So they do a good job on this one. But again, like the other one I showed you was more like magazine paper or whatever. It was really flimsy. So this one actually has... It's nice and thick. It's cute, the little rainbow strip right here. And there's a little girly pig and a little more like a boy pig. Oh, it has mom stuff. This is probably from like Mother's Day, kind of. Really cute. And on the top, they all have like a little strip. The paper also has a nice thickness. It's more like paper. It's not, you know, shiny or like magazine paper. So there's a couple sheets of each one and lots of different, like this background is really pretty with the, I guess those are hollyhocks or I don't know what they call those. Um, cute, lots of paper. I like this one. This is probably one of my favorite ones right now. So anyway, all right, let me grab some of this stuff and we'll decide what we want to kind of try out. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is one of these layered things, like I said, I've never done it, and it looks kind of like a little bit of a pain. And I definitely want to try out that um, flower die from this one, okay? Because it looks so simple, I don't know. I just feel like, hmm, I don't know if it'll actually make a nice flower. So let's see what we have in here. Let's get to the page. Uh-huh, a piece stamp set, okay. That's all the little girly stuff. Okay, it's basically this, right? What you need, I'm just trying to read this here. Dino Delight, decoupage sheets, papers, toppers, and sentiments from your bumper pack, colored card, corner rounding punch, hole punch, twine, foam pads. I pretty much have all those things. I might have to leave something out, but we will see. Cut the decoupage base layer around the blue background and trim to measure. Okay, interesting. Another half by 11 centimeters. Of course, this is in a different, uh, Whatever, but what I'll do is I'll just cut it and then we'll make our papers go along with that. And then we have you cut out all the decoupage layers and build them up in number order onto the base card using foam pads for each layer. And then we're going to have a little tag and some other stuff. There's that one. Uh, my son's birthday is coming up, so I don't know. Let's party. Let's see what these look like. Sorry, I guess I should have just done this before. I was like, oh, let me. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do these guys. This one's cute and probably more simple, but then I have to cut out every single thing here. Hmm. Okay, let's do... Let's do this one because the, the edges are more simple, I think. So I'm just going to rip this out. And I'm not going to cut out the base one yet because you have to cut that out like a square, basically. Oh, well, like around here. I just don't know how they did it. See how they left the background? They cut, okay, so they cut the whole thing. Okay, yeah, you just cut around it, which is interesting. Well, no, because then here they left it with the background. Look. Trim the decoupage base layer to measure 13 and a half, 10 and a half around the corners. Okay, perfect. They used the whole thing. Okay. 
All right, let me do some math and I'll come back to see how we're gonna cut this. Okay, so since their numbers are like metric, but they're also, you know, their paper's a little bit different. For our A2, it's just a half of a standard paper. Their standard paper's a little bit longer than ours and all that. So what I'm looking at is I think I need a five by seven card base. So I went ahead and cut out a card base for myself. I'll, I'll fold it in half in just a minute. So this is basically an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. just cut at seven inches deep. You leave the whole 11 inches, right? So when you fold it in half, that's five and a half. Um, and then we're just gonna fold it over, okay? So this is gonna make a five, a five by seven card base. So the next piece of paper is actually two pieces of paper and it says to cut one super long that'll go across the whole thing and then the second one See how this is dotted paper? You're just gonna put that on top of this other one, but I'm like, well, I guess you're gonna waste paper that way, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to, I'm gonna do it a little bit different though. I'm gonna do the dotted paper because I don't like that as much um, as a big sheet. And then I'll use the little tiny palm paper over that. So as you can see, there's a very small space. So I'm gonna cut this paper out in just a second and I'll tell you how. And that is also in this pack. So I'm gonna come to the page that has that paper. I'm going to tear this one out. I'm going to tear out the other one that I need. And I'll come back and tell you what the sizes are, okay? Okay, guys, sorry. I think earlier I had said I cut this paper to um, 11 inches. It's 10, right? Because when you fold it in half, it's 5. So sorry about that. So 7, 5 by 7. So it was 10 by 7, and then you fold it in half. You have your 5 by 7 card base. Sorry about that. And so these pages, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, I cut at 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters because it's just shy of the five by seven, right? Oh, I should have folded this a little better. I just noticed I did that a little bit wonky. Okay, here we go. And let me get some tape here. <clears throat> and then the other little piece I'll tell you in just a moment. So again, obviously if you guys do this, it's four and three quarter by six and three quarter. Kind of thin paper so you really want to hold it as you can see i'm having a little bit of struggle but i also have things mounted under here i shouldn't have a bunch of pile of stuff under here <laughs> so i'm gonna stick that down so it's just leaving a very small border all around all right guys this card's gonna be a little bit crooked but you know what <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it at that i was cutting um with my uh paper trimmer on my uh, what's this thing called? Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Um, <clears throat> my paper trimmer was on my stool. So it's not the sturdiest place or best place probably for something like that. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Okay. That's probably going to be a little better <laughs> to work with. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit crooked up there. I might straighten that out later as far as the, uh, the way I folded it. And then this little piece is basically half of that, but it's kind of a persicity number, right, with the six and three quarter. So that is four and three quarter by three and three eighths, okay? <clears throat> and then what I'm gonna do, there's supposed to be a little red piece around our decoupage base. What I'm gonna do is cut out the decoupage base and then stick that on a red piece and then cut it out. So I'm not gonna do any kind of math on that part. I'm just gonna eyeball it and get that going. So you can see. You could have done just half a piece and half a piece. You might have had a gap in the middle, but you know, whatever. A lot of it's gonna be covered up with the next um, layer, but that's okay. So what they want you to do on the card is cut this guy out and then put that over a red piece. And there's a pretty good size gap. And there are numbers there. Like I said, they're in centimeters. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut it the way they're showing really close to, you know, kind of close to that top guy, leaving a little gap at the bottom here. So I'll do that first. And then we'll go from there, and I should bring out a smaller paper trimmer, but this is all I have. Well, that's not true. I have several paper trimmers, but this is the one I have right now. So I'm just going to bring this out just to show you real quick. My first cut will be kind of close to where, let me see. You know you have a guide on here. There's like a little wire, so you can kind of see what you're doing. I think right there looks pretty good for now. Hopefully I didn't cut too much off. See, just under that area, and then the next one was going to be pretty much where it is right now. So I'm gonna leave that for now. Maybe give it a quick measure just to see how how wide this is. Let's see, this is, it's uh, one, two, three, four and a quarter tall. So that's good, four and a quarter tall. And let me get kind of close to this little hat side. And I'm gonna trim that down too and then we'll kind of eyeball it from there. Uh, I think I probably still have a little too much paper here. 
just because I'm looking at the picture and it's a little bit closer to his hat, the edge. So let's say there. And if you guys are wondering, I didn't feel anything about earthquakes. Um, you know, I live in San Diego, so it's not like I was that close to where it happened, but my mom felt it pretty good out there. So I'm going to cut this like at five and a half. What am I doing? <laughs> five and a half inches. And that'll kind of maybe give us a base that makes sense. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's like a standard A2 size card, basically. Five and a half by four and a quarter, yep. So the red is gonna be just slightly bigger than that. Um, I grabbed just the red piece. I don't know if there's red paper in this bumper pack. I didn't look, but I'm just gonna mat this on here. I'm gonna stick this to this paper. I'm gonna cut it out and I'll be right back. You guys, before I stick it down, I'm supposed to corner chomp it. And I'm like, I have like seriously like five or six corner rounders. And I'm looking for that. I'm like, it wasn't a crocodile, but I think this is it, isn't it? This blue thing. <laughs> so I just want to show it to you guys because I just thought it was funny that I have it shoved down in here with all these tools that can poke me. These are all like <laughs> cutting and not uh, very good. And then the bone folders, remember I told you guys today, I'm like, I have bone folders. I have like so many in here and I couldn't find even one, even though it's right in front of my face. I just keep this up here. But anyway. Crocodile, I apparently haven't used this in a very long time. Okay, so I'm supposed to corner around this little guy. And I don't know if I should do the deeper, probably the deeper. I always went with the half inch one. Do you guys, I mean, I don't know. I just like that deeper look. But I guess with this one, the cards, well, it's kind of a big card. If it was a lot smaller, I would go with a little, the tighter one on the other side. So this is the half inch corner around. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, so I should have done that a little nicer. And now I'll stick that down. And then we're going to start building our layers. I'm going to stick this down before I build the layers because to me it doesn't make sense to do it any other way. But Hopefully my son's not going to be like, this thing is all crooked, Mom. He's not that picky. Well, actually, whenever my kids have a chance to, you know, let me know. I'm not super perfect with, like, different things. They like to do that. They think it's funny. <laughs> so anyway, so this will be on here. That's what I'm saying. It didn't leave a lot of space. I probably could have made this a little bit smaller. But um, that's okay. Because uh, in the picture, again, their sizes are a little bit different, so it's going to look a little different, right? And so now I've got to cut out all these little pieces, which is insane. So I want to see on this, do I cut it out separately, or is it just something... You have to cut out each and every little piece, don't you? Don't you? Let's see here. That's what it looks like. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to start cutting these out with a very fine little... Um, what is this cutting me? It's well, these are Westcott, but anyway, you're gonna cut right on their lines, okay? Not really leaving any white room extra. So, I'm gonna go and cut every single thing out. I'm gonna cut the second layer, stick that down, I'll cut out the third layer, and then I'll cut out the first layer, and I'll come back at each oh, layer. Okay, guys, I had to take off my glasses. My glasses are for distance, and I've always been wearing, I've been wearing them since like I don't even know, seventh grade or something. But now that I'm old, I have to look under them or take them off completely so I can see up close, which is really kind of crazy. But anyway, um, my friends across the pond, you all have nothing better to do. This is taking so long. I guess you should just sit back, relax, you know, I don't know. But what I came back to show you is whenever you cut anything like this, that's persnickety or just whatever, you don't move your scissors around to cut. What you need to do is keep your scissors tucked in there really nice and you move the item or the paper. So like right here, I'm coming around the top. I'm moving the paper as I'm pre giving pressure to the scissors, right? So your scissors, obviously you're, you have to um, cut with them. You know what I'm saying? You're kind of going like this, giving that pressure to cut, but don't turn your scissors. Like right now, I'm not gonna turn my scissors. What I'm gonna do is turn the paper and then just keep giving some pressure. And that gives you a really nice, smooth cut. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see that. And I was cutting away any excess paper that was kind of getting in the way as I was going, so um, so that's kind of gone. Okay, so now I can put my glasses back on. <laughs> and um, what I'm going to do real quick uh, is stick this down. I'm not going to obviously waste your time showing you how I'm going to stick down a bunch of, uh, what's that stuff called? Um, a dimensional adhesive on the back or even taking the back off of the dimensional adhesive. So we'll talk about that in a second and then I'll go from there. So this is a little bit, like I said, bigger than I would want for this card, but that's okay. 
And I think I might even have something that does measure in centimeters and stuff, but I just didn't want to. I know some of my Crafters Companion stuff has both types of measurements, but I don't know if I have a trimmer of theirs. So anyway, dimensional adhesive. I have a ton of it sitting here. Um, the only thing is from the move, I don't know, even though it's all together, where is my, I have big squares somewhere. I think they're down here somewhere. Anyway, if I find my larger squares, I'm going to use that because obviously it's going to take forever. But um, I would go with the biggest squares that you got or whatever. I do have some circles here. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, why not? Where are my pieces? Of course, I already lost my little pieces. But there are some areas that are persnickety. So what I'm going to do is put down big pieces where I can. And then um, you know, put down some smaller ones. I'm going to take this off here. And all this stuff is usable. Like if I wanted to cut this strip and use that, I would definitely do it. I would do something like maybe this piece here. You know what I'm saying? Just use it all up, guys. And this stuff is really thick. That's the other thing. So I don't know if I want this much depth. But you can look at your what you have and see what you think you should do. I'll put that there. I'm just going to keep putting out pieces of dimensional... I think the next ones I'm going to use a smaller one and that's also lower because this is really thick. Super thick. Dimensional adhesive. Okay, so I'm going to put that stuff on the back and I'll be right back. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. This stuff is really high. So like I said, on the next layer, I'll probably just use this little basic stuff. It's still a little bit high, but not as high as this. So, okay. Oh my goodness. Now what we're going to do is layer this guy up on here. And I just want to make sure he's about right. My head's in the way, I'm sorry. That's really cute though. I'll give you that, it's adorable, but <laughs> this is not easy. And I cut stuff all kinds of ways. Like I told you, you can just cut your little background papers there, that stuff. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, I feel like this one's not. That guy. And this guy. All right. That good? I'll push it down a little bit better. Maybe with like a flat, something flat, because I don't want to... There we go. That's actually really cute, just like that. But we got to keep going, guys. So I'm going to cut out the second layer. I'm sorry, the third layer. And then the fourth. But I'll come back to show you when I stick down the third layer. Right, guys, I have the third layer cut out and I took the backs off of this and I have my other two pieces over here but I'll do those off camera because this is going to take a minute and then after I stick these down I will cut out the fourth layer and come back with that but so on this layer he's missing like this leg part and then um so that's and his hand in the back this is so cute it is very cute I will give you that it is very time consuming <laughs> I will give you that Look at that. Look how tall that is. And so I know in like um, British, uh, I guess, sources and stuff like that, they have thinner dimensional uh, dimensionals because uh, a dimensional adhesive because, I mean, you can't make this thing super, super tall. But um, I'm going to have to source some of those out because I know for us, it's like it's usually maybe two or three layers and we want boom, we want some layers, right? But this, you really need kind of incremental layers. But that's really, really cute. Look at that. I mean, it looks ugly from the side, but like from the front, it has a lot going on. So, okay, I'll be back when I have the other layers stuck down, then I cut out the final layer. Okay, guys, we're almost done. So, um, I was looking at this from the side, and it has a lot of the little sticky stuff, and it looks kind of horrible. But what I was thinking is, if this wasn't the thinnest paper known to man, and this was like on cardstock, you would probably not have to put as many um, pieces of the adhesive, so it wouldn't look so messy from the back, you know? But now my last little piece is the little guy's head. And again, I have to check that out. And there it is. That's really cute. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so that's kind of fun. I don't like all that adhesive, but you know, what are you going to do? It's just what it is. Like I said, again, if this was on something thicker that wasn't just cause it's a little thin stuff, um, I would definitely try it again and I'd probably like that better. Um, again, with maybe a thinner, a little bit thinner adhesive. So the last couple things we need to do is supposedly just put some twine or whatever around here. And there's a little have a great day that, uh, from the sentiments. It says trim two sentiments from the collection, layer the year how old sentiment onto red card, punch a hole in the corner and add to the base using twine. 
wrap twine around, and then to finish the second sentiment, add to the bottom right corner. So I'll do those things off camera because this video is long enough already, but I'll have some pictures for you guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. I mean, I don't know. I've never tried this out, and it, it's cute. It's something to try. And uh, don't be afraid when you see these magazines and they come with this extra little paper stuff that you might say, oh, I don't know, I wouldn't even use that. But like I said in the other one, it's more of a cardstock, so I have a feeling I wouldn't have to put so many... Um, pieces of adhesive no on the back. Sorry, I'm so. like, goodbye, and I was ready to sign off. I forgot that I told you guys I was gonna try out this other um, thing real quick. So let's do that. I was already signed off, and I was like, oh, I said I was gonna try out that die. <clears throat> There's a lot of packaging in these things. Like packaging, packaging, packaging. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take maybe some of that red paper that I just used for the for the card that we just did. And I'm just gonna cut it out on my cuddle bug. I have a piece right here. Just face down. Yeah, I'll probably use a cuddle bug just to make it quick. I have my cuddle bug here, but I'm gonna put it on my uh, stool because I just love using my stool for things that it doesn't work with. Um, For whatever reason right now, I only have my extended cutting dies and pads in front of me, so I'll use that. I'm going to use my C and my B plate. So, actually, I don't like cutting into my C plate, so I, I just face that up. I've never cut into it, so I was like, ooh, there's no reason to start now. Let me just run this through right quick. So it didn't sound like anything happened, but it cut out. It's right here. Cut out very nicely, very quickly. Awesome. <clears throat> I've been using that electric machine so much, I keep forgetting how to sandwich things, but uh, I remember it's a C and a B. And okay. So that worked out. And here it is, super cute. I wonder if in the magazine they're going to tell you like how to actually use it. Let me see about, well, let me grab it real quick. I see on the front here they do have a little picture, supposedly, of the thing. Let's see real quickly. Ah, oh, yes, how to create a dimensional flower right here. Look at that, good luck. Oh, okay, they're saying to turn from the outside. That's kind of what I was wondering. I was like, do they want you to roll it from the inside or the outside? They're using tweezers. I have a quilling tool, so I'm just going to hold on to it that way. But um, what does this say? Die cut the rolled flower from cardstock, then hold the outer edge with the die cut with a pair of tweezers. Carefully start rolling the cardstock around tweezers so it's nice and tight. Well, I don't know about that, but I will actually I'll use this side because it's deeper. Okay. Hey, every time you roll it, it kind of does go into the next little scallop, so that's kind of cool. Maybe a tweezer would be nicer. But it's going, it's going, it's going. And then, of course, at the end, we're going to put some glue, right? Let the flower relax, then carefully remove the tweezers. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, so cute. All right, add a blob of glue to the base and mutilate petals as required. Keeping the base fairly tight. Okay, I already kind of let go of that. And I have... Oh my gosh, Miranda's waking up. <laughs> I have my 3 one glue. Yeah? I'm coming. Alright guys, well I'm just going to put a blob of glue right here. Yeah, I'm coming. Right there. And then just like I said, kind of manipulate this to stay within that glue. And I'll show you how pictures of this too at the end, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye now.